Friday, write a haiku about programmers. Lines and codes they write, crafting genius with each byte, programmers create. In this video, we're going to be creating our own artificial intelligence using OpenAI that we can actually talk to and it will respond and talk back to us. This project is incredibly easy and I'm going to explain all of the code to you. We're going to be able to do this really quickly and it's only going to take about 25 lines of code, I think. So if you're interested in having your own voice assistant that goes way beyond the capabilities of Siri or Alexa, then this video is going to be for you. And then you can actually take this program that we're going to write and you can move it over to a Windows, Mac, Linux or even a Raspberry Pi if you would like to go ahead and check this out. The links for the PyCharm download is going to be in the description. It'll take you straight to this page and if you are on Windows you can come over here for Windows or Linux and you can download it. Um, if you are running a Mac with the Silicon Valley chip you can click this right here and it'll automatically start the download. You'll just click next next install and it will install for you and I already have it installed down here so we can go ahead and open this up. You can create a new project. I'm just going to use this project right here and when it is all set up it will look like this. Actually it will look like this without that. Um, if you want to open a terminal you can just click that button down there. That's what I had clicked and we can minimize this because we're not ready for that just yet. We're going to need to get an API key from ChatGTP or OpenAI. So what you can do is just come over here and say chat GPT API key and you'll be brought to this one right here, the one that says platform.openai.com. So you can click on this. You will need to sign up if you do not have an account yet and I already have an account so I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'll bring you back at the main homepage. And once you're logged in, I'm not really sure what page you're going to be brought to. This is the one that I was brought to. You can just click on the API keys down here. And for those of you who just created it, you get six months with something like 10,000 requests. So you got a lot of requests. So you don't have to worry about running out. And you can come down to the API key and you're going to click create a secret key. And you're going to click create. And a lot of you are going to be saying, why would you... Put your API key out. I will just delete this API key once this video is done so don't try to use it or you can try to use it and it's not going to do you any good. But I'm going to delete this and then once you have your secret key you need to copy it and save it somewhere because once you close out of this with done there's no way to see this API key anymore. It's gone. So you click done and you're not going to be able to see that API key anymore. So I'm going to come back over here to our PyCharm and we are going to just delete all of this and I'm going to paste in that API key and then I'm going to comment it out and I think it's control it is command question mark and it should comment out our API key but actually what we can do instead of just commenting it out is just come down here and we'll just say API underscore key equals and then we'll have this API key stored in a variable which we are going to need and the reason this is underlined is because it needs quotes so we'll just go ahead and throw some quotes around it and we're going to import some modules now so we're going to import OS we're going to import time we will import high audio and we'll also import play sound. We're going to use these to play our sound and then we're going to import GTTS from GTTS like this. This is just a Google text to speech so it's going to take what we say. Google's going to run it through our text which we say it's going to take it to speech and then it's going to say it back to us. And then we're going to import OpenAI as our, in order to use our API key, and this is going to be our AI for us. So now we are going to need to actually import one more thing. We need to import speech recognition, and I think I have that spelled right, and we're going to import it as SR, just like this. Now, you're going to notice that these are squiggly lined and it is because we need to import these modules and so we're going to use pip if you don't know if you have pip you can just open up a terminal by clicking this down here you can just type in pip and hit enter and if it works then you have pip 
If not, this also works with PIP3. You can just type in PIP3 and if you get this output, then it works for you. And PIP should work for you because you just installed PyCharm and it should install PIP for you. So you should have PIP or PIP3 depending on PyCharm when you installed it or you might have both like I do. Or on a Windows, you can install Pi Audio by typing in PIP install Pi Audio like this and if that doesn't work for you. I guess I had that typed out wrong. And if that doesn't work for you, you can come back and you can type in pip install pip win, and then you're going to run pip win to install Pi Audio. So it will look like this pip win install Pi audio and that should work for you so if you're on a mac this is going to be a little more challenging you're probably going to have to go out and install brew or homebrew but we can also try that and you can try pip install pi audio and if this doesn't work for you and you're on a mac or you're on linux you might need to run pip install port audio like this and then if you're not able to install port audio, you're gonna have to go out to homebrew and install homebrew and I'll show you how to install that now. What you'll do is you'll come out here and you're going to copy this right here and we'll come back to our text editor and open that up. We will paste in what we had just copied. You will run this and we're gonna type in our password and that should run. We want to run it and it's gonna tell us that we need to put this in our path. Okay, what you'll need to do is scroll up to where you see this next steps right here and it's gonna tell you to run these two commands and what you can do is just highlight this entire thing right here from the echo all the way down here to this last quote and you will copy that and you will paste it into your terminal and you will hit enter and it will go ahead and put brew in the path in your path and then you'll be able to use homebrew to finish the installation of pi audio and port audio and we're going to install port audio by just typing in brew install port audio just like this should be able to run it and it will install poor audio. I already have it installed, but after that's done, you can type in brew install pi audio and that should install pi audio for you. And now you will have pi audio and poor audio installed and we can continue installing the rest of our packages. The rest of these are really simple. We just go pip install play sound and it's going to install play sound. And then we're going to do the same thing for Google text to speech and it will install and that is finished. So now we can say pip install GTTS and your GTTS needs to look like this or it won't install the correct package. And now we can go pip install and our speech recognition has a capital S and a capital R just like this. And we'll let that run. I probably spelled this wrong. Let's try again, speech, and I spelled recognition, so we can try this again, and it will go ahead and install for us. Now we should have everything installed. So we have an issue here with how we imported this. This is actually going to look like this, from GTTS import GTTS, like that and now we have this typed in right sorry for that mistake so we have our api key right here i'm going to be working with the language english so i can just type in lang equals en and i'm pretty sure this needs to be in single quotes so we can say en and move outside the tab and we can go down and we're going to set a variable for our open api key so we can say open api dot api key equals our API key, just like that. So now we have our API key saved right here in this variable and this one, but this is the one that OpenAI likes to work with. So we're gonna keep it like this. Now we're gonna create our while loop and we'll just say while true, we want it to do something. And we'll start out by just creating a function. So we'll say def get audio, we'll make this function. And then we're going to use our speech recognition. So we'll just save this as R equals SR dot recognition as a rec recognizer. And then we'll close this off because this is a method. And we're now going to set up our microphone. So we're going to say with SR dot microphone. And we're going to set up a device index and so for this device index you're going to have to probably play around with this um, it depends on what 
port you have different things plugged into. So sometimes I'll have this as device index one, sometimes it's two, sometimes I just can delete the entire thing and I don't actually need a device index at all. So for you, this is something you can remember, you can set it to one and if your microphone doesn't work, then you may have to come over here and set that to two or delete device index altogether. I'm not actually entirely sure how to determine which port your microphone is plugged into. So I usually just play around with a number until I get it to work. So we're gonna need to set up a device index and we're gonna say, we're gonna save this as source and we're gonna create another variable and we're gonna call it audio and we're going to save it as r.listen. This is going to have it listen to what is coming in through the source over here so we can use the source. And then we're going to have this passed in as a string. So we're gonna say said equals empty string so that way our program has our audio going to be passed in through this said right here in just a second. So now we're going to make a try statement. So we're going to say try. We want our program to try something. This is going to give it the type of function like the Hey Siri and then Siri wakes up for you instead of actually having us put in like keywords in order for it to activate. We're going to have it listen all the time. This is a different way to have the program listen all the time rather than the way like Siri works. Um, we're going to have it just always trying to listen for a keyword for when it needs to wake. So we're going to say try and we're going to have said equals r dot recognizer r dot recognize Google right here. So it's going to be this Google text to speech and we're going to pass in the audio. We have our recognizer working with Google. So our speech recognition is going to be working with Google and we're going to be using our Google text to speech here in just a second. So now our empty string should be filled with everything that was taken in. One thing I like to do is print our said just to make sure that the text is taken in and we can actually see it. And now we're going to create our if statement. So we're going to say if whatever you want to name your AI program, I name mine Friday because it is something that the program is actually able to understand. So if you name it something like hat it's going to probably not recognize hat bat cat fat something like that so name it like orange you're going to want it to be something unique that the program is going to be able to recognize and not get confused with other words so we're going to say if friday and this actually needs to be in quotes so we can say if friday is in said then we want it to do something and this is going to be really complicated. So I'm actually going to type out the rest of this. This is gonna be the actual code in order to get OpenAI to work. And I'm actually just copying this template straight from OpenAI off their website, which is over here. And I'm actually gonna copy this template from the OpenAI over here under their documentation. So I'm gonna paste it in here and then I'll bring you back. You can either go grab this from the documentation or you can just copy it down from what I have typed in right here. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna be using Friday. We're gonna be saving completion right here with OpenAPI. We're gonna be using the model GPT 3.5 because you can't get an API key for GPT-4 just yet. We're gonna be having our role, which is going to be the user, the content of what has been said right here. So our role is user and the content that we're sending is going to be what we have said verbally into our microphone. The text right here is going to equal the text from the content. The Google speech to text, we're going to save this, the Google speech to text setting. So the text, which is going to be clearly the text, which is right here, which we just grabbed from the message. It's going to be speaking a slow, false. You want to change this or when your AI speaks to you, it's going to be really slow. The language is going to be our variable, which we saved up here somewhere right here. So English is what I'm going to be using. And the TLD, this is the accent that you want it to have. And the com.au is an Australian lady, which is what I have it set to. And we have the speech right here, which it's going to save to an MP3 file right over here. And then it's going to play the speech for us right over here. It's going to open up that file and read it to us. And then we have an exception, which is just we're going to print exception. 
it's just going to print this word. You can make this say error or anything you want. And then it's going to return the said. And then we call our function, which is going to be the get audio. So this should work for us at this point. But we will also want to break this. If you are having a conversation and you don't want the open AI to be listening for you to tell it to do something, you can add in an if statement and break the statement. Um, but for now, I actually think we'll leave it like this because I think I might get a little, it might get a little confusing for those of you who are really familiar with Python and making global variable, making global variables in order to get this to break. So this right here should work for us. Okay. So we're back here at our code. I'm going to go ahead and run it and you're going to get to here Friday, our AI that we have created, talk back to us. And we're going to be able to ask it anything we want. I think I'm going to just ask it to write a haiku about how wonderful programmers can be. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna run it by clicking my little run button. Um, it's gonna give me an output here that I'm not sure what all those errors mean, but I know that it's working. Now we'll look at the output and then we'll also listen to what it has to say in answering our question. Friday, write a haiku about programmers. Lines and codes they write, crafting genius with each byte, programmers create. And there is the program and how it works. And we can also just scroll up here. We'll actually close out of the program. We can scroll up and you can see the question that we asked it. And this is the statement that it is going to send back to ChatGPT through the API. And then it will send us back its answer. And then our Google Text-to-Speech will answer the question for us. So this is how you can actually carry on an audible conversation with chat GPT. So if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. If there's something else you would like to make, go ahead and let me know and I will try to get to that. If your code is not working and you're having some kind of a problem, I will leave a link to my GitHub down in the description and you can go copy and paste the code that I know for sure is working because it's working on my computer on both Linux and Mac. And you can paste that into your text editor. And if that's still not working, please let me know what error you're getting down in the comments below. And I'll try to help you troubleshoot that and get this code working for you. Thanks for watching.